Disney, Little Einsteins, The Firebird, Upon a time, there lived the most magical bird in the whole world, the Firebird. Everywhere she went, the Firebird sprinkled music from her feathers, filling her Russian homeland with color, song, and dance. But there was one person in Russia who didn't like music, the mean ogre, Katshe. One windy day, he trapped the firebird and locked her in a birdcage high atop his secret palace. Without the firebird's musical power, all of the happy music in Russia started to disappear. There was only one part of the firebird that the mean ogre couldn't trap in his cage. A single magical feather that a gust of wind carried far away. Rocket knew that his friend the firebird was in trouble and needed his help. To save the Firebird, we'll need to get past Kashi, June said. And he'll use plenty of magic spells to try and stop us, Annie sighed. If only we had some magic of our own. Do you see something magical that could help the little Einsteins on their rescue mission? Yes, it's the Firebird's magical feather. Rocket quickly flew after the Firebird's feather, catching it in his mini grab nabber. I cannot believe it, shouted Quincy. The Firebird sent her magical feather to Rocket. Now that's what I call airmail, Annie giggled. Stupendous, exclaimed June. This means we have the musical power to get past Keshi. Thanks to the look and listen scope, the team learned that they needed to get to the instrument forest. Look at the signs on screen. Do you think the little Einsteins should take the first path, the second path, or the third path to get to the instrument forest? Yes, they should take the first path with the violin shaped sign since a violin is an instrument. Can you name some other instruments? The instrument forest was silent. Not a single instrument was playing its music. Rocket waved the Firebird's magical feather over the forest and it began playing again. When Kashi heard the beautiful music, he became angry. He created a bunch of spooky animals to scare away the little Einsteins. Don't worry guys, Quincy said bravely. I've got a plan, but I need your help. Will you play these instruments with me? Leo, play the flute to make the bats disappear. I'll strum the violin to get rid of the mosquitoes. June, play the xylophone to make the spiders leave. Annie, make the bear go away with a trumpet. It's working! The spooky animals are disappearing! Rocket continued his search for Cashy's secret palace. Along the way, he picked up a faint noise on his look and listen scope. The team looked at the screen to see what was making the noise. Look, it's a cute little seal, said Annie. Leo noticed that the little seal looked very sad. Ah, uh, he can't sing loudly anymore now that the firebird is gone. Poor seal, said Quincy. I wish there were some way we could help him. Rocket had an idea. He sprinkled the little seal with the magical feathers musical power and helped him sing again. Uh-oh, look closely. Do you see someone spying on Rocket? Yes, it's Kesha, and he's back to stop the little Einstein's mission. Catchy created a storm cloud that poured mounds of snow on top of Rocket. Poor Rocket. Rocket is stuck under that huge pile of snow. He can't fly, cried Quincy. Cashy wants to stop Rocket so that he can't save the Firebird, said Leo. Don't worry, Rocket, Annie said confidently. I know a special song that can make the sun come out and melt the snow. Sing it with me, everyone. Come out, sun. Oh, won't you come out today and melt the snow? Yes, melt it all away. It worked. Thanks for helping Rocket. Now he can find the secret palace. The team finally found the secret palace, but an army of Kashi soldiers were blocking their path. 
They had to get past them before they could rescue the Firebird. June had an idea. These soldiers are copycat soldiers. They will do exactly what we do. So let's try to get them tired. Great idea, June, exclaimed Annie. We'll make them all fall asleep and then sneak past them. Leo was excited. Yes, if we can each get at least one soldier to copy our actions, then the rest will follow. Once past the soldiers, the team had no time to lose. They had to race to the birdcage and save the firebird before her musical power completely disappeared. Come on, team, said Leo. I need your help to fly rocket super fast. We need to get to the speedy meter to jump from Adagio to Presto. First, we start at Adagio. Pat your hands on your lap very slowly. Next, pat a little bit faster on your tummy to get to Morado. For Allegro, pat your hands even faster on your shoulders. Now put your arms in the air and shake your whole body really, really fast. Presto, you did it. Racing to the palace in super fast mode, Rocket quickly found the special rainbow key and unlocked the birdcage. The firebird was finally free. She soared through the sky, sprinkling her musical power everywhere she went. Wow, exclaimed June. She's marvelous, truly amazing. She's bringing happy music back to Russia, Annie said gleefully. The Firebird's even sprinkling her musical power in Kashi, Leo giggled. Quincy started to laugh. <laughs> Looks like it's time for Kashi to finally face the music. He can't escape it now.